Hey guys, it's Jim, how you doing today? Uh, I thought in this video I would do a little speed editing. Uh, if you watched the, the Mac Fun Facebook Live event uh, about a week or so ago, I was on there and at the end I did this photo and I did what I call speed editing, which is basically just kinda hauling ass through a photo, uh, to put it uh, frankly. But um, the point is not really just to hurry up and get a photo done. Uh, although, you know, it's a skill that comes in handy if you come back from a trip and you have a whole lot of stuff Maybe you want to share it with family or get it online or whatever. So speed editing can be helpful, uh, but uh, to me the speed is not the goal. It's really to learn how to use the software better and to get really comfortable with all the filters. So I thought I'd do some speed editing, and uh, there's a couple of things to, to talk about here. The first is, uh, for me, speed editing is, is, as I said, not about speed. It's about knowing the filters, and so the best way to know the filters is just to sort of screw around with all of them. Uh, get in there, even if you don't like the filter, just try it on photos, experiment, see what you come up with, because you want to know what the uh, what the filters will do to your photo, right? That's learning the software. Uh, and the second thing is, take advantage of workspaces. Uh, so for this photo, I'm going to use a collection of, uh, excuse me, of filters that I would normally use on a sunset, or just to basically enhance color. I'm pretty okay with the contrast here. I don't need to do any brightening uh, of like the foreground or uh, really darkening the sky necessarily. What I really need to do is just punch up the colors. I'm also not going to accentuate details, so I don't need structure or anything like that. So I just built a workspace. I just call it Color Enhance, and here's some photos that I could use on that, right? Now, I'm not going to do that in this video. I'm going to actually walk through and add each of the filters and then edit the photo, but this is an idea for speed editing is build workspaces around the ideas that you have. So if you look at some of these workspaces, I have Color Enhance, which is this one. I have a monochrome one. I have one that's Details and Light. So maybe you know you want to change the light around, uh, enhance details, do that sort of stuff. These are the kind of filters I would use for that. Not for this video or this photo, it's just an idea. Uh, color Shift, right? If you want to move the color tones around, maybe you want to change it from uh, golden hour to more of a sunset or something, right? You could use color balance. You could bring up some of the colors with these things. And of course, split toning is, is super helpful for those sort of things. So that's an idea as well. I'm just going to clear this though, uh, because I'm just going to go in and sort of speed edit this photo. I come into it knowing what I want to do, and I, I know what filters I want to use to do that. So it's just a matter of grabbing the filters and sort of making a, a few slider adjustments. Uh, if you can tell by looking at the photo, it was a very colorful sunset. Uh, it was beautiful, but this is a single exposure. Let me bring up, uh, it's, uh, where is it? One twelve hundred fiftieth of a second, right? So it was just a quick snap, and uh, let me get rid of that. I, I am using a JPEG because they're smaller files, so therefore they're quicker uh, in video. Uh, but my real, real work, I, I shoot in RAW and edit in RAW for my uh, professional photos. Just clarifying. Uh, anyway, so let me do a little speed editing here. And if you want to start your your watch, uh, stopwatch, it's it's about a minute or so. I'm going to go ahead and hit go and get started here. So I'm going to grab the filters that I would use for this. And again, they're very similar to what I had in my color enhance um, uh, workspace. And it's kind of hard for me to talk and do this at the same time. So let's see here. I think, no, nope, hang on, I'm missing something. Hang on, I'm missing something. Now I'm throwing myself off. Uh, too many, too much talking. Let's see here. Color temp. I got cross processing. Oh, uh, golden hour. There we go. That's what I needed. That was it. Okay. So let me go in here. I'm still, you know, going to get this done pretty quick. I know what I want it to look like. I know Seattle is the cross processing one that I want. And I'm just going to make these adjustments, sort of bring this photo back to life, pop those orange tones a little bit with the warmth and the golden hour filter. And there you go. So even with the delays of me losing track of the fact that I never added the golden hour filter, you can see that I went from that to that and you know, maybe a minute. Um, and I'm done, to be honest. That's pretty much what the sunset looked like. It might be a little saturated for some of your taste. That's okay. Uh, Cross-processing can be tricky, but let me turn that off and show you what it did. You can see there it was. Very beautiful nonetheless. The cross-processing, uh, the Seattle setting specifically, is somewhat pink. I use it on a number of sunset photos because I love the look. I think it adds a nice little glow to the photo, sort of in the pink realm, uh, which you know brings up these colors here and the colors up here in the clouds. But that's really it. That's speed editing. Again, the goal is not to hurry because these are photos that you want to look beautiful. And, you know, uh, so take your time. However, for me, the goal is if you learn the filters, build workspaces that, uh, you know, correlate to this sort of 
moves that you want to use, right? You might build them for cityscapes or landscapes or sunsets, but if I built some just for color changing or color enhancing, color shifting, in this case, I'm basically using similar filters as I did in my color shift workspace, or excuse me, my color enhance workspace. And boom, there you go. About a minute's worth of work. And I've got a ton of photos from this sunset. I could probably come in here and do them all very quickly like that and be done. I tend to go slower. I like to experiment and have fun. I'm always looking for new things to sort of try out anyway. But that's a, uh, that's a quick speed editing video. Just keep in mind, it's a great way to learn the filters and take advantage of workspaces or even build workspaces that are specific to the sort of moves that you want to have in your photo. And that's really it, my friends. I hope it helps. Uh, again, this is a photo that if you uh, joined the Facebook Live video a week or so ago, same photo, probably very similar edit, maybe slightly different because I didn't keep track of how far I moved these sliders. I just kind of moved them based on my mood. But that's how I do a speed edit of a, uh, a quick sunset. Hope it helps. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time, friends. Adios.